Yo, what's going on, world? So it's been a very, very long time. I've been on, gone on a long hiatus. Uh, I got burnt out. Just too much stuff going on. Too much buying Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, Digimon. I just had to slow down. My wallet was hurting, and so yeah, I had to take a step back, look at uh, <laughs> my finances, and not to take a break. And so uh, I've gotten better with my finances. I'm not buying as much product anymore. I I haven't bought. But I didn't buy, didn't buy anything at all last month. Um, this is a uh, recording in uh, March right now, so I didn't buy anything at all in February, and close to the end of January. So I have really slowed down. But uh, putting the starters out for Pokemon, these sets are pretty good. Uh, they have a lot of cards in there, from what I've been hearing. I haven't been watching much Pokemon. I've been more into Digimon as of recently because I've been playing a card game. I've actually been attending stuff, so. But here, enough aside, we have Pokemon, Billion Stars, a lot of goodies in here. Um, I got this from Ender's Games, shout outs to them, um, Clovis. I got this here, so this is somewhat under, this is under MSRP, plus tax a little bit over it, but $38.95, that's an amazing deal. So, picked up from Ender's, very awesome, I'm glad I got that from them. Um, but yeah, check out out though, just pretty much a standard 8 booster packs. Uh, the sleeves here are supposed to look pretty cool, so take a look at the sleeves. And again, I'm all about the dice, but sadly, I haven't used dices in, at all. So, yeah. The sleeves what we're looking for. The last sleeves for uh, Fusion Strike. Oh, terrible. The one with the Mew. Very, very bad. I've been using it for uh, Digimon, and I've just been shuffling, and all the shuffles just were terrible. Terrible, terrible. I can't even shuffle with them. Well, I, I do shuffle with them. They're, they're, they're good cards. They're good uh, deck sleeves, but they just are ripping on me very easily. So I will, um, if I can find one, but I probably won't. Oh, uh, no, let's go through this. Um, on here, I want to rip the box because I, I won't have too many of these. Uh, let's see. So we have, man, it's been so long. I forgot all the names of the Pokemon. Right? Yeah, Arceus for sure. I hope all y'all playing the new um, Arceus Legends. It's pretty awesome. I don't have it myself. I just watched some gameplays of it. It looks pretty, pretty cool. And of course, as always, Charizard. Charizard is the one that's really leading the pack. And so, surprisingly, uh, a TCG player, Charizard. Do you think Arceus being on the box cover is going to be the one that's going to, you know, um, the god of Pokemon, right? Uh, create, create all the Pokemon. You think he would be the one that's sought after though, but no, it's all it's all Charizard. TCU player has Charizard at pretty much the uh, highest price card um, on here in the set. Yeah, um, I believe it's the alternate art on um, Charizard too. Yeah, so uh, yeah, sadly, yeah, I just I just have not been in Pokemon. I haven't played it. I played it one time with my with the homie Angel, and that's what he just said. So I'm really having a fallout with playing Pokemon, and it's all been Digimon. So, but I'll stop talking about Digimon and get to Pokemon. Let's go through this. The Mimic QV is V Max is pretty cool. The trainers though, I actually just want the trainers. The trainers in here look pretty cool. I've seen some of the sets that people have. But let's go through. Um, this is the booklet. Let's see the rares. Charizard is pretty cool. I don't mind pulling this Charizard. Eh, do I want to? No. Is this Krabby? Kingler. Wow, the Kingler looks sick, dude. Kingler VMAX. I don't mind pulling that card. That card looks pretty dope. Even VMAX that has this is pretty sick. I would not mind having that. Raichu looks pretty, uh, like it came out from the game. That's pretty cool. Same as Raikou, too. Cool, cool. Mimic shot, Mimic Q Max. It's uh, I I haven't been around uh, the age where Mimic came out, so I have no clue. I mean, I've been around. I just haven't played any of the games. <laughs> Argo V Max. That's cool. Argon. 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 Dude, this this, this muck looks pretty crazy. Reminds me of Mister Ooze or uh, uh, gosh, Power Rangers, the Ooze guy. I have news. Yeah, cool. So, this one is the chase card. Now, this is the one that everyone's going out there to Charlotte V here. 
Power Turn of Art. I believe it's that one. Um, I, I can't think of the other the other ones. I don't know what they... This one should be a secret rare. I'm not too sure, but it's the alternative art one. That one seems like it should be it. Um, and there's Arceus here. This one here, you think this one would be it, but nope. It's the uh, it's Charizard. Even these gold cards here. These gold cards are pretty awesome, but they're not going for much. It's those alternative art ones. Oh, this one looks pretty sick, dude. Shifu. Oh, man. This is when I came into Pokemon, so... I actually have nostalgia for these guys, even though it's only been a year now. Yeah, since I got into it, but these are pretty cool. But these full art training cards here, though, they look pretty sick. Oh, so if you can pull one of these, man, that would be dope. Single Shy Ushifu. Wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I, it's just looking more and more like sticker cards now for some reason. I like it. There's a lot of going stuff going on, but yeah, they're moving on to it. And this is this is strange. It's not strange, but it's a new thing to have, you know, trainer cards, a trainer and Pokemon, and and one uh, card, which is pretty cool. But it's looking like stickers though. Like this one here, it looks like it came from a one of those twenty-five fifty cent stickers. You just slush them to fifty cents, fifty cents into a slot, and it pops out a sticker. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Uh, anywho, let's uh, get on with it and see what we can pull. So the content inside, ooh, this is different. It's so sad though, again, all this cardboard here that you have is get tossed out. I wonder if there's anything you can do with this stuff. This is cool. I like that when you close it, it makes an actual shape. That's cool. Yeah, but this is just the car set, all of the, the content separator. And here you get your standard uh, sleeves. Maybe standard sleeve, but you get your sleeves. Just fill the sleeves and see how the sleeves are compared to the other ones. Again, the the ones from Fusion Strike. All I opened up a couple of Fusion Strike packs, and then um, they feel okay. They feel a little bit. Uh, I feel like they're just more of a slippery texture to these. The gold looks pretty amazing though. Is it the gold outside? No, it goes in the backside. The gold itself is pretty cool. Uh, sucks that you can't see the gold. It's probably, if you line it up with the card, you might be able to see the outlining of it, which is pretty cool. I think that'd be nice. The outlining here of it, that's not too bad. The Pokemon cards though, not the greatest because it kind of blends in, but cool. I am into sleeves. These sleeves don't seem too bad, but yeah. So the uh, the fusion fusion strike Mew sleeves, the um, clear plastic with the backing is starting to split. So whenever I shuffle, I I, I now shuffle like this way aside, and then do the waterfall cards going in, and because of that, the sides of the Sleeves are uh, getting damaged, and so and that was really bad because uh, if the card, I've noticed the times where the card would get stuck, and uh, I would have problems shuffling, and then it can cause damages to the cards. So if it's like a high rarity card, it would be a bummer if you have that card get damaged because you shuffled it. So yeah, it's a bummer. But sleeves, cool. Next, uh, it should be. Oh, let's go with the. Here goes the, uh, what do you call it, the um, code card. And we have the pack of energy. I still don't know how to do all these. I have so many of those now. And the dividers. So look at the dividers. I did anything wrong with them. They look pretty cool. They, they feel almost like they're plastic, but they're not though. They're wood. I mean, they're cardboard. But from the look of it though, it looks like the plastic, which plastic would have been pretty awesome, but really costly. Cool. Standard uh, game rules. We'll put that to the side. And we have your counters. So these are kind of funky counters, mud counters. Your uh, poison sleeves and, oh, we get the V-Star. So I'm assuming this is kind of like the Oh gosh, the other set that has another one of these. But yeah, this 
Bonus stars is uh, it has a V star triggers, and that's all that's in the box. So, so I'll decide. Oh, you know what? And go grab some. Um, for the guys, go grab some sleeves. So, I don't ink. I have something to protect my cards. So, I rearranged all my stuff around, so I don't know where everything's at. So, I'm gonna just pop up um, some new stuff. But I bought a case of these, I think four or five of these for a good deal. I think I bought them maybe 20 bucks for, I think it's 100 of these, so 20 bucks for 400. Not too bad. And it all came with sleeves too. So, pretty good deal. But again, I haven't opened them up, so now I'm getting to use them again. All right, so building the stars, we got Arceus in the front there. I don't know this guy's name, I have to figure it out. But pretty much all the um, Pokemon you saw inside the um, cover for the ETV. So all the Pokemon inside here. 22, 34. All right, so let's see what we can get. Let's pull these bad boys open and see what we can find. Anything good? Man, I forgot how to open these. Oh, that's why it's from the top. Oh man, or the bottom. Let's just pull. I'm trying to do what I do with the uh, Digimon cards, which I've been you can just pull from the back and just rip open. But I don't know. Hopefully, the card trick on these is the same. Yeah, since this is the first time we're going to be going through these, uh, we'll go through pretty slow. Oh yeah, code card. Code card for ya. Um, Alright, let's go. Uh, one, two, three. I think the energy should be in the back there. Alright, we got fresh water set. Heal 20 damage to each your Pokemon. That's pretty cool. Star me. Just hanging on the beach. That's cool. Got a Weavile. Dude, this kind of reminds me of Batman. That's cool. You get the Dene. All these, all, these, all these Pokemon are fighting at night. That's interesting. Cup Chew. It's pretty cool. <laughs> There's a long booger nose. Or a uh, booger snot there. Duskull. Again, they are roaming at night. Farfetch'd. All of these uh, tripping out uh, art images. Interesting. You got Execute. Just super weird. They're all just hanging out. And for our reverse holo, we have Dustnor. And this is the, oh, it's rare. That's interesting. We got a reverse uh, holographic rare. Awesome. Dustnor. And, oh, we got Namikyu V. Uh, right off the bat, we got a, a V card. Nice. And back we got a, oh, the energy card. Oh, that's right. The energy card. This one looks super dope. I, I remember, uh, Price Bake Jake, I watched that guy. I'm pretty sure a lot of people do, but I remember they, they were saying that um, the energy cards in this set look really awesome. Like they just up the game on them, and I, I would agree. They they look phenomenal. So let's put the guy over there. So let me get another energy. I have a couple of energy cards here. So this is the new energy card. It has a lot of orbital stuff around there. It looks like something's orbiting the sun. Compared to this one here, pretty basic, you know, just a fireball coming through. Looks like they've elevated and changed, so it looks really spicy. It's really awesome, but I, I kind of like the plain one though, just because it's plain. You know, that's an energy card. Kind of used to it. I don't like seeing too much around it. You know, that's just a card you need to draw. But this one right here looks very. Uh, it looks upgraded. It looks premium, but it's just a basic card though. So that's a interesting take. Interesting take on it on the energy card. 
Ah, it opened up easily. Cool. All right, code card. Oh no, the messed up code cards on the top. And then we do one, two, three. And the good thing is that these cards don't look too damaged like how they were in Chilly Rain. Oh, yeah, that's so far I've been gone. Chilly Rain is kind of a set that I was uh, acquiring and then it was a uh, Evolve Miscage. I didn't get much of. Revolve again. Dust Clops. Wandering. Ooh, Morgrem. This card looks creepy. Bidimp. Oh, and there we go, the guy loves the big old pig nose. Star you the clay uh, clamation. That's awesome. Wyolu. I really like Wyolu. I think Wyolu is probably gonna be one of my favorites. Uh, even though I haven't seen much of it, much of Pokemon, I, I just I, I like the character. It looks it looks very likable. Starly, got my Surrey, Milsuri, Milsuri. Cool. Kind of reminds me of. A, I don't know what it reminds me of. I was thinking Togepi for a second there, but no. They're all the little, little guys. We got a Shroomish. The Naha, it's a reverse holographic, uh, common. And back we got a Escalar. Where? Non-holographic. Cool, and back we got a Psychic Energy. Yeah. So interesting, they all have that kind of star-shaped uh, blowout. So from the top, we just pull, 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 pull. Oh gosh, I think I heard this. I hurt the cards in this one. From the top, oh, from the bottom, the inconsistencies. No Pokemon. The inconsistencies. One, two, three. To the front. All right, we got a Vibrava. Vibrava. That's cool. Looks like color pencil drawings. Tropius. Oh, I like this one. I like the art in this one. I, I like the colors and the shading. It looks very uh, movie. Like it came out from the movies. Ooh, Clay Doll. This one looks dark. It looks like it just came out from a horror movie or something. Yeah, that's interesting. Like Resident Evil Ball toy. This, this one's like, this should, should belong in Dragon Ball. They even Dragon Ball Super. Axe New. Yeah, that's cute, it's a little baby. Nose pass, <laughs> just all by himself in the desert. Snow were all by himself in the, <laughs> in the uh, forest there. Clink, falling down or climbing up the mountain. We got a trap itch. It's coming out of sand. This is the reverse hollow. And then back we got, oh dude, check that out. <laughs> wow. <laughs> we got a trading card, that's a, uh, the, the rainbow. Secret rare, 177 and 172. Do Churns Care. And back we got a uh, Steel Energy. Uh, nice. 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 So we got a pretty good hit. Ender supplied me a box with a Full Art Trainer, Secret Rare. Oh, it's in the back. That's pretty amazing. Oh, is it dinged up at the bottom there? Oh, man. This is that, uh, Oh shoot, this is the pack that I kind of just mistakenly just try to force it. Did it come off? Oh man, I think, I think it did. But that's pretty dope though. My table is pretty dirty. Um, I've been sharing it with my uh, with the wife and so this is our workstation. Um, we've been working from home, so she works from home too now. So that's a comment for her as well. And yeah. But dude, check this out though. I don't know who this is. It's a guy or a girl. Pretty sure it's a dude. One of your, put one of your uh, star Pokemon that has any damage counters on and all attached cards into your hands. Oh, that's interesting. It's a recall. Dope, dude. We got, we got a secret rare. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna be gentler on these. Just so I don't ruin them. You never know what you can get. Oh, we got a white coat. Oh man, yeah, the inconsistencies in these. Terrible coat card. Yeah, the last one was from the from the top. This one's from the bottom. Very consistent. We got a clay doll again. That's from a horror show game. We got a fresh water set. Another. I haven't seen training cards in a while. Uh, Starmie. 
We got a Sneasel all oh, night again. All these Pokemon so at night. Oh, these cards are falling down. Corfish. Ooh, Magmar. <laughs> this one looks dope. <laughs> it's a pretty basic card, but I like the feel of this card though. It reminds me of Christmas for, for a second there, because all the, the red and red and green. And kind of, you know, the white patches of snow. But just Magmar just blowing. That's so cool. I like this card. It's a cool card. You got Spirit Bomb. Burmy. All three of them. Cool. You got a pot helmet as the uh, reverse um, holographic uh, common card. In the back, we got a um, Hoxorus as the non holographic rare. So, in the back, we got a uh, very, very back blue <laughs> water energy. All right, we didn't get hit there, but that's okay. We got one of the bigger hits in the back there. Karen's care. Karen's care. Come on. Come on now. I might have to go to just uh result to using scissors again. Forgot how much these hurt my fingers. Okay, all right, it should be from the bottom. Hey, this one was right from the bottom. Okay, we got one, two, three, two, three, four. Right, not too many, just three. And we got a Magma Basin. Basin? <laughs> stadium. Stadium card. We got a Crawdont. Ooh, Ultra Ball. That's pretty cool. You got a Shinx. It's so cute. It's like it's in a little play, a little uh, children play, play yard or something. Empidimp. Golet. <laughs> These guys are pretty awesome, dude. I, I like these guys. They look like. Like Dodo Robot just kind of walking around. Chaos Form. You got a Chimchar. Wow. For a second there, I, I thought this was holographic. I, I saw different colors there. But that's cool. They're implementing these stuff from Pokemon Go. You know, Pineapple Berry. I mean, I don't know if it's a Pokemon Go, but uh, I'm, I'm associating Pokemon Go because I'm playing Pokemon Go a lot. And so you got your Pineapple Berry, Banana Berry. Uh, what else is there? Where's the Raspberry at? That's interesting. And we got a Dust Clops. Uh, Reverse Hollow. Uh, for non rare, and then we got ooh, dust nor holographic rare. That's pretty cool. Again, these these, these holographic rare ones bring a lot of nostalgia. It looks super cool just to see them. Is it textured wise too? Uh, no, I don't feel textures. Okay, in the back we got a water energy, dark energy. Look like water for a second there, but it's dark. Um. Cool card. Yeah, it's uh, a lot to see in here because uh, there's a lot going on. But yeah, all these Pokemons are, are notoriously odd. Just roaming at night. Whoever the cameraman or whatnot know who took a picture of these. Yeah, they're just, uh, you know, discovering all these Pokemon at night, you know, doing their nightly activities. So that's uh, interesting that all these cards are, these Pokemons are out at night. Night shots. Yeah, so if there ever was a photographer, yeah, that photographer got all the shots at night. Alright, she'd be at the bottom again. The inconsistency, I'm telling you. The inconsistencies. Oh, man. One, two, three. Whoa, what is that? That's interesting. I got a black card here. Huh. Huh. We'll have to see what that is. That's, uh, that's throwing me off now. I don't know what that is. Uh, we'll find out when we get there. Ultra Ball, I'm kind of kind of excited. You got a, a Vibrava. Tropius again. This is cool. I like this one. Trapinch. Shroomish. Diplop. Ah, Diplop. You got a Purloin. You got a Duskull. You got a Clank. Clank. And back we got a... Clink clink. Oh, cool. This is not holographic, uh, rare. And then back, what do we get? Oh, we got a V-Star card. Ah, oh, that's interesting. So instead of the, uh, Pokey, uh, the energy cards, they give you an actual V-Star card. Huh, that's kind of interesting. I don't know how I feel about that. Do you want an energy card? Do you want this card here that's a, uh, 
logo, pretty much. I don't know if you're gonna know, I don't know what you're supposed to do with this card. That's uh, that was interesting. I got excited there for a second, but <laughs> it turned out to be nothing. Ooh, I think I'm getting a hang of opening these uh packs now. One, two, three. You gotta give a little tug at the top. Not the very top, just kinda, you know, quarter way down. We've all, you got Dusclops, Hitmo Top, Ryolu, ooh, Starly, Spirit Bomb, Purloin again. You got a Milceri. Ooh, dude, check that out. Yo, this is the, uh, the trainer cards, I believe. Eevee trainer card, dude. That's super dope. It's not. It's not texturized. I, I don't. I'm pretty sure it's not texturized because I don't see any textures. I'm kind of going through a holographic part of it, and I, I normally you'll see the textures like in this. Here you see all the little bumps on there, all the little star-like things. All that is the textures, and so uh, is that how all these are? TG mm, training card. Oh, Trainer Gallery, that's what they call this. Trainer Gallery. It's Trainer Gallery 11 out of 20, out of 30. So there's 30 training cards. And then back, we got, yo, <laughs> we got an Argon V Max. Two hits in one box, uh, one pack. And we got a Leaf Energy. That is dope. The excitement on this is pretty awesome. Yo, we got two hits in one pack. Uh, let's do the Argon. Just because it's, uh, it's not a super rare, but it's it's a uh, it's a texturized card. I actually wanted the other one instead. The uh, I'm looking at Argon for some odd reason, but I wanted uh, who who's that other guy that I was looking at that looked pretty cool. Um, Kingler, Kingler looks pretty awesome. So I don't mind getting Kingler V Max. That way. I just pulled out uh, another sleeve. I'm an autopilot right now. Kingler is pretty cool, so I don't mind getting a Kingler version of it, but Argon, I'll take it. But Kingler looks pretty bad, though. Let's leave this one here, Training Gallery. That's cool. Um, so, uh, from this one trainer, uh, ATB, Elite Trainer Boxer, we got uh, four hits so far. And yeah, it's pretty good. It's a pretty good hit. Uh, let's see, the bottom is it? Oh, no, it's not the bottom. Yeah, kill card. And let's do one, two, three. All right, it's no more V cards in there. V star card that we got a Hitmo top. We got a Magma Basin. Crawdont. We got a Bidoof. Electro Buzz. Chimco. Gibble. <laughs> What's it doing here? It's uh, it's at a construction site. Interesting. And we got a Tortwig. Taking a stroll in the puddle or in the stream. We got a Mothin. That's cool. Reverse holographic wear. Awesome. Awesome. And back what do we get? Oh, we got a Mothin. <laughs> All right. So we just need the holographic one of it. So we got the reverse holo, non holo. We need the holographic and we could get the set. Now we got a electric or thunder energy. Cool. Cool. So, uh, yeah, out of, uh, yeah, eight packs, we got four hits. So, uh, not too bad for ETB. It's, it's been a while since I opened them. Uh, we'll see if the ETBs are strong. Right now, it's not too bad. Um, I don't know the pull rates on ETBs, but so far, it's my one only. And, yeah, I got a pretty good pack. Pretty good box. So, cool. We got the EV uh, Training Gallery. We got the um, Argon VMAX Texturized. We got the Mimikyu V. And we got the Karen's Care. Churns? Yeah. That's dope. I am. I actually wouldn't mind getting the, uh, the, uh, actually I don't even know which, uh, trainer. Everybody's looking forward to get the Marnie, but I don't mind. Just, I'm a, a new waifu collector. I, 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 not one, but I want to claim to be one just because. Yeah. Anywho, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm kind of back, so, cool. Thanks for watching. Peace.